Our friends over at the Gerbil Vine have sent us some gerbil supplies all the way from Canada. Now I don't know exactly what gerbil supplies are in this box, so we're going to open it today and find out together. Oh no, there's more tape, that's why. Yay! Ooh, ooh, there's a letter here. Okay, I'll make that first. To Heather, Timon and Pumba. Hello from Canada. We hope this present didn't take too long to reach you and that everything arrived in one piece. We had so much fun buying some of our favorite toys for Timon and Pumba. We hope they like everything. Apologies that we couldn't send any bedding or treats. Hello annoying import laws. So hopefully the toys are exciting enough. We can't wait to see all the action. With love, the gerbil vine. Bex, Jerry, and Dusk. Aw, that's lovely. And next, we have Living World Nibblers. So, Willow Chews. Now, these I know for a fact Timon and Pumba are gonna go mad for because whenever they have these, they just go nuts. They're more colorful. Yeah, they're really colorful. Yeah, no, yeah, we actually, we don't get them that colorful in the UK. We don't even really need to see what they think of them. I know they're gonna love them because they always love these things, so that's awesome, thank you. And next we have Bull Cheeks Multicolor Shoes. Okay, I think, I think they're like wood sticks, like colored wood sticks, I think. Okay, I'll have a little look. Ah. Okay, so they're like wood sticks, like colored wood sticks. Now I'll fling these in the cage and they'll definitely, um, They'll definitely add some colour because we don't have them. Um, we can't actually get coloured sticks here, I don't think. Like all, like most of our like sticks that you buy are just like plain wood sticks. We don't get like dyed ones like these, so this is really fun. We can it'll definitely uh, liven up their cage. Ooh, oh, this is gonna go down well. It's a apple shaped chew. I think this is what seagrass. I think this as well. This is another one of the materials that the gerbs just like go crazy for. Absolutely love shredding and destroying these things. We don't we don't get them like in this like fun shape. We don't get we just get like plain. The more like fun and colourful stuff is for like like rabbits or guinea pigs or cats and dogs. Like you don't really get it for small pets as much. We'll give it to them and they will take to destroying it in no time. Next ooh, we have a wood puzzle chew. Okay, so it's basically like, it's, I think it's kind of like the, the wood sticks that we got before, but it's like made into a little, a little toy thing. I think it could be fun to maybe like stick some treats in here as well and maybe make it a bit of like a foraging toy. I'll give that to them and see what they think. It looks pretty cool, so thank you. bird toy. Oh, is it a foraging toy? Oh yeah, it's like a foraging basket with like a little bell on the bottom. It's got like little baskets, little woven baskets that you can like put treats in. We don't have like literally anything even close to this in the UK, but nothing that I've seen anyway. Like I've, I've really wanted to get like a foraging toy for Timon and Pumba, but most of them are like, if there are toys, they're like made either with like lots of rope or they're made from plastic or something like that. So this is, will be really, really good to stick some treats in. And it's also, Sneaky got some little willow balls in there that if they get to will be shredded. I like how colourful everything is because I, I don't have many colourful things in my enclosure so it'd be nice to like add some more colour to the place. We don't have as much variety for like bird toys and stuff in like the big chain pet stores so it's kind of harder to get this stuff. This is going to be very much appreciated and um, very much shredded probably. So. Ooh, we have a hay tube. Ooh, this will be fun. So this is just a big old hay tube with some holes in it. So I will probably end up sticking this in their enclosure in the next cage clean, uh, rather than put it in the playpen, because I have a feeling this hay will get everywhere and I already cleaned the playpen lots. <laughs> so I'll put it in their enclosure where I don't mind it being messy. <laughs> and they can, they can use it as like part of the burrow system and stuff. I did used to have more tunnels, but they, they chew through them all in like no time at all. So I haven't yet managed to like recover my tunnel supply. <laughs> so this will be great for their next cleaning. Oh, something wrapped, I need my scissors. It's 
very well wrapped. It's, it's a good, good job. <laughs> it's too well wrapped, so I might say. Right. Oh, this is the thing. This is the thing. Yay! Oh, yes. Now, this is... This is the thing that kind of brought about this 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 whole thing is basically because I think um, Bex did a video where she was showing off some things in PetSmart and there was like this little bath in there and we don't have that um, in our stores. There was kind of like a similar thing like this, but I think for at like Christmas time, but I think it was for like potpourri and we like didn't end up getting it then. So basically, it then became my life's mission to see my journals in a tiny bath. So this is amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can't wait to see them in it. They're going to be so cute. Cute. Okay, so that is, that is all the things. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Bex over at the Gerbil Vine. This was like great. The gerbils, I'm pretty sure are going to love them all. You, if you're watching this video, you'll probably already have seen it because I'll have put the footage, but right now I haven't seen them. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to send something back over with a few little projects I've been working on behind the scenes and maybe some things from our pet stores that might not be available in Canada. So if anyone from the UK knows of anything that you think I should send back, then comment down below to let me know and maybe I'll be able to include it in the package. So if you haven't already, then make sure you go and check out Gerbil Vine's channel because she makes loads of great Gerbil content. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.